Hey guys, what's up? I'm Steve and welcome back to my world. Today we have another Lego Brickheads from Disney, Marvel, Guardians of the Galaxy. We have Gamora and it is number 38 in the Brickhead series. We have 136 pieces. Ages 10 and up is the recommended age. Here are some of the other ones you can get, which we have them all. And there is a picture of Gamora. So let's get her open and see what she has. Okay, so we are going to put the box right there. We're going to stick this back at, or base in the back, and we're going to open up these pieces and pour them out. There is one of them. The other bag has some smaller pieces in it. We're going to go ahead and get it out and open two. There we go. With all LEGO projects, guys, we get a really incredible LEGO uh, guidebook. This is going to show us all the steps we need to build our Gamora. All right, so we are going to start by moving the box out of the way so it doesn't cause focusing issues. We're gonna move you guys down a little bit so you can see what we are working with and we are gonna get started. So we are gonna start, some of the darker colors are harder to see on camera and I apologize for that. We'll do the best we can to show you. We're gonna start with two six piece black ones and hold them together like this. Okay, then we're gonna take an eight piece brown and we're gonna run it across both of them like that. All right, up next, we're gonna take a two piece pink one. Uh, I'm gonna call this pink just for this video's purposes. And then we're gonna take this weird two piece brown. It's got two pieces there, it's a little L shaped and off the other ledge it has four. So we're gonna take that and stick it off the back like that. So when you turn it around, it's got four pegs. All right, then we're gonna take the most common brick in all brick heads. This is the two-piece, thick two-piece gray with four pegs on the sides. This is so that you can fasten things to them, so you wanna put them right here in these sides with the pegs on the outside. And we'll use a lot of those here coming up. Then we're gonna take and add this, this dark gray disc. We're gonna to add to the bottom of this red circle this is gonna be filler material, so we won't see these. We're gonna take that, we're gonna shove it down on top of these two here, and push down. And then we're gonna take this tall two-piece black with her jacket, and we're gonna put that right here on the front like this. And then we're gonna follow that up with two of these thick brown one-piece blocks. So we're gonna put one here, and one here, and then one on top of each of those, so. Uh, find some more here. We're gonna put another one up here like this. Then we're gonna put one over here. And then we're gonna put another one on top of that. Okay, so there we go. Next up, we are going to put two of these L-shaped pieces that look like this, kind of similar to the first one. They have two pegs, oops, two pegs on top. And this one hangs down and has four pegs on the side. So we're gonna take that and we're gonna put them on the back side here like this. And then we're going to put the other one, where, there it is, right here. So what we have is when we turn this aside, we have pegs there, and we have a lot of pegs on the back and pegs there. Okay, up next we're going to take this green four-piece, after I throw it, and we're going to stick it right here in the middle. And then we're going to take two two-piece browns, put one on this side over here, and then we're going to put another one over here like this. All right, up next... We're going to take and make some arms. We're gonna take a green two-piece that looks like this. We're gonna put it on the bottom side over here, the bottom one right there. And then we're gonna take this black two-piece that looks like this with a hook on it. And we're gonna put the hook facing down and that's gonna be her hand, okay? And we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So a green two-piece over here, followed by a black green piece, or a black piece with a hook on pointing down and there are her hands. All right, then we are gonna take a two piece brown and put it on above that one. And then we're gonna take a smooth two piece brown, put it on top of that. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So two piece brown, followed by smooth two piece brown, like that. Okay, next up, we are going to take and spin her around like this. 
So we are going to take an eight piece brown and put it across the top like this. And then we're gonna take a two piece black, put it right here in the middle on the bottom. All right, up next, we're gonna take a two piece green and put it across the middle of the top like that. And then we're gonna take two smooth one piece black ones and we'll put them on the top of each corner. So one there and one there. Okay. There we go. All right, like that. All right, up next, we are going to take and add, holding it like this, we're going to add some more of these gray pieces. We're going to put two down this side over here. So one there and one here. Then we're going to put this brown traffic light looking piece. So it's a thick one piece here with two pegs on the side. We're going to put that in the back with the pegs facing out away from us. Then we're going to pay, put this four piece gray one next to it like that. I'm sorry, two piece thick gray. Then we're going to put another brown traffic light with a peg coming out to the side this way. And then we're going to put another one of those gray pieces right here on the front like that. So what we have looking down on it looks like this. From the sides, we have this. Okay. Next up, we're gonna put that down. We're gonna grab these two dark greens, or regular greens, I guess, thick four-piece blocks, put them together. We're gonna to grab this gray circular disc. We're gonna put it on top of it like this. And we're gonna take this pink thick four-piece block like this, put it all together. This is gonna be filler material. We're gonna stick it in the middle here like this and give it a squeeze. There we go. All right, up next. We're gonna take four more of these gray pieces that look like this. This time we're gonna put two across the back. So we're gonna put one there and one here. And then we're gonna put one on each side. So one over here and one over here. Now we're gonna take and put a four piece, which is just gonna kinda of lay in there. So we're gonna take a, another one of these thick two piece grays with four holes and we're just gonna kinda set it right there. All right, next up we're gonna put two more on and we're gonna stagger them. So we're gonna put one on this side and then we're gonna put one over here on this side and now it holds it all together and there is what we have. Okay, next up we're gonna take these two big black curved pieces so they look like this, okay? And we're gonna put them right here like this and then the other one the opposite way like this to give us a nice radius on top of our character. Next up, we're going to spin her all the way back around to the front like this. We're going to add a six-piece green right here to the front there and another one on the other side like this. Then we're going to take two of these L-shaped black pieces. You got two pegs right here with two pegs on the lip coming off the side. We're gonna put those on the top like this and one right here. So we have our surface here and the L shape has some pegs on top. All right, next up, we're gonna take a smooth four piece, put it right across the bottom like that. Then we're gonna take another smooth four piece, except this one has a peg on each end. Followed up with a regular two piece green right here on that side. And then we got a special four piece or six piece smooth one with a little detail on it right there and it's going to go right there okay up next we're going to do her eyes most all brickheads have the same eyes are a black dot with a big square little square big square goes to the upper left L uh oh dropped her eye big square goes to the upper left little square goes to the bottom right try to get them in place where you want them before you push them on they are hard to spin once you get them on so there's one and there is, oh, that one's turned just uh, a little bit. There we go. Close enough. There are her eyes. Okay, next up, we're going to put a smooth one-piece block on the top green one up here like this. And then we're going to put a piece of pie next to it. And what I do call those are these pieces here. Looks like a quarter piece of a pie. It's kind of arched on one side. And it's going to go in here like this, maybe. So... There we go. Forms a little curved piece for her eye. All right, up next, we're going to take four of these triangular pieces that look like this. 
and we're gonna put them from here going up, down, up, down. And we're gonna put them right across the front. So we're gonna put one here like this. And then we're gonna put one here like this. Then we're gonna put another one like this. And then we're gonna put another one <clears throat> the other side, right like that. Okay, that's what we have. All right, up next, we're gonna turn to this side over here. We're gonna take one of these stepped black pieces that looks like this. It's got two layers on it and with two pegs over here off to the side. We're gonna take and put those pegs coming off the side to the front and put it in right there. Then we're gonna add a one piece regular block to this top gray one back here and a smooth two piece pink right here on the bottom hanging down like this. Next up, we're gonna take and add a another stepped up piece if I can find it so we're gonna take another one of these stepped pieces here with the pegs come on the side we're gonna turn it this way and we're gonna put it with those pegs coming down off the bottom right here okay and then we're gonna take and add oops I guess we're gonna have to put the other pieces on it first or I won't be able to get them on so what we're gonna do is take some pieces of pie on there we're gonna take a piece of pie and put it a pink piece of pie right there like this okay and then we're gonna put a triangle piece on top of that as well which is gonna go in like this okay so that's what we have there and then what we're gonna do is now we're gonna take that turn it upside down like this put it in here just like that okay up next we're going to take and we're gonna put that down for just a second, if she'll stand, there we go. We're gonna take a one piece pink block, then we're gonna put a two piece black block on top of it, like this. Then we're gonna take this pink block that looks like this, it's got a big curved part here with a little edge and a peg sticking out here, and we're gonna put that on top of, if I can spin this around, like this. So this is what we have so far. Okay, next up we're going to take a one piece black and we're going to stick it underneath here like this. Okay, and then we're going to take that whole thing, throw it on the ground. I'm just kidding. Then we're going to take it and turn it like, th uh, let's see here, what am I missing? Oh, we also got to put a stepped up curved piece like this and it's going to go across the front like this and right in there. So that's what we have. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take that whole piece and put it on the front of this just like this. Okay, next up, we're going to take and add a piece of the pie to the back here. So we're gonna put it where it curves like this, okay? And then we're gonna take a curved step up piece that looks like this, and we're gonna put it across the next side of blacks right there. And then we're gonna take another piece of pie and we're gonna put it, this one's gonna be a pink piece of pie. We're gonna put it down here, like that. And then we're gonna take this really large black arched piece and we're gonna put it right in here, like that, so she has some hair. Okay, next up, we're gonna spin her to the other side, do a lot of the same things, but mostly the same things. So we're gonna take this four piece here, we're gonna stick it off the front like that just to put on the one piece there. Then we're gonna take this two, this stepped up black piece again, with two layers, and on this end, we're gonna put a smooth two piece pink. And then we're gonna turn it upside down and put it in there like this, okay? And then we're gonna take a two piece regular and we're gonna put it on the bottom block over here, like that. And then we're gonna take a one piece regular pink and put it right there, Oop, wait a minute, there. So that's what we have so far. Okay, next up, we're gonna take a, a two L-shaped black pieces and we're gonna put them right here around this ledge. So we're gonna put one right there and then we're gonna put the other one on the other side over here like this. And then we're gonna take a pink triangle piece, the high side up, we're gonna put it in here just like this. There we go. 
All right, next up, we're gonna take and add one of these pieces that looks like this. It's the arch piece with the ledge. That piece is going to go in here just like this, with the ledge fastening into the top there. So it looks like that. And then we're gonna put a two-piece pink horizontally on the bottom right there, followed by a piece of the pie right here in the corner, like that. All right, up next, we're gonna take and add several pieces here. We're gonna add a curved step piece that looks like this, and we're gonna put it on the second row in right here. Then we're gonna add another piece of pie next to that, just like that. And then we're gonna add another piece of pie that's gonna go above here like that. And then we're gonna add a triangle piece that is going to go on the bottom piece right here, high side up again, right there. All right, then we're gonna take a big, thick, curved piece again. We're gonna put it in here like this, and we're gonna take this big, thick, step-up piece, looks like this, and we're gonna put it right here like this. Okay, next up, we're gonna take Gamora, we're gonna turn her upside down. We're gonna take an eight piece black and we're gonna stick it all the way, let's see, we're gonna turn her to the back like this. Then we're gonna put it in the very back right there across that section back here. Then we're gonna take two of these thick black two piece blocks here, put one on each side. So one's gonna go over here and then one's gonna go over here like this. And then we're gonna turn her back around and we're gonna take these pieces that look like this. We're gonna put them one over here on this bottom brown block like this, or bottom brown peg like that, so it flares out this way. Then we're gonna use the other one opposite hand, put it on that bottom peg, and flare out the other way. Next up, we're gonna take these brown pieces, or this, yeah, these two brown pieces. They look like this. It's like a very long home plate. We're gonna turn them this way, put them on that corner right there, and the other one up here like that. Okay. Next up, we're gonna take an eight piece black, put it across the top like this, and then we're gonna take another one of these large eight piece curved pieces, and we're gonna put it up here like this. Oops, wait a minute. Do I have that correctly? No, I do not. We're gonna take it and turn it the other way. You want the thick part on bottom and the small part on top. Okay, next up, we're gonna put that down for just a second. Slide these pieces over so I can see them. We're gonna take these pieces that look like this. Again, they're stepped up pieces with a ledge, a ledge, and then two on the sides. We're gonna take two of them, we're gonna stick them together like this. And then we're gonna take this eight piece pink and we're gonna put them in the middle like that. Okay, there we go. All right, next up. We're going to take and add two of these pieces, these L-shaped pieces that look like this. Okay, up. There are only two pieces wide, and then they got a little lip up here with two pieces. So we're gonna take and add one underneath here like this to the front, and then one on the other side as well, right like that. So this is what we have. All right, then we're gonna turn around and take two of these pieces that look like this, these thick rounded pieces with a ledge, we're gonna hold this this way, and we're gonna put those in just like this, and then one on the other side like this. Maybe. Something's not matching up right, right there it goes. Okay, and then we're gonna take these triangle pieces, two of them, one on each side up at the front, and we're gonna slope them in here like this, like that, and then the one on the other side opposite hand like this. And then we're gonna take two pieces of pie and we're gonna put them in here like this. And then one the opposite hand over here like this. Okay. Up next, we're gonna take an L-shaped black piece and we're gonna put it in here just like this, up and over. And then we're gonna put a one piece Let's go ahead and put a two-piece black piece across the top first, 
in here like this. And then we're going to put a one piece pink right on top of the other pink right there. So this is what we have. Okay, up next, we're going to add another two piece pink right to the spot right below that one. And then we're going to add two pieces of the pie in here on these little black spots here on the ends. So we're going to add one in here like this. And one the opposite hand over here on the other side like that. So that is what we have. Alright, up next we're going to take and add a curved stepped up piece that looks like this. We're going to add it right here on the front. And then we're going to add four pieces of pie. One down here and then one, one, and one up here. So we're going to put the first one in here like this way down here. Then we're going to put one up here like this. One next to it going the other way. And then another one up here like this. Oh, wait a minute. Not like that. We're going to put it in here like this. Okay. Then we're going to take that whole thing and we're going to grab her back and we're going to take this holding it like this and stick it right up in here like that. And there she is. And we're going to take this sword. We're going to put this in her hand. And there's our Gamora. So we're going to stay her right there just briefly while we build the base. We are going to take this base. We're going to take a four piece smooth and put it on the second row up. Like that in the middle. And we're going to take another four piece smooth but one peg on each end. Like that. And then an eight piece smooth right on top of that. We're going to grab our Gamora, stick her on the pad, or on the base like this, and there she is. So we have another really cool Lego brick head. I love the detail work in her hair. Um, it's kind of crazy. All over the place, and she's got her little sword. So another really cool Lego brick head, guys. What do you think? If you would, please leave me a comment down below and let me know. Also, guys, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Your support means everything to us. As always, have fun. Thanks for living in my world, and we will see you next time.